Lockdown Linda from Lebanon sent me a lovely email saying, Richo, I've got a whole chicken, but I want to learn how to break it down. Well, Linda, I'm going to run through my special pro tips and I'm going to show you how easy it is. The beauty of breaking down a whole chicken or jointing it, as we like to say, is you get a whole chicken like this and you're able to get a whole lot of different pieces out of it. It's very economical and a lot of fun if you think like me. It starts with a whole chicken and what I'll do is I'll show you what I do to break it down if I'm going to roast it in the oven or fry it. Now, you can see I've got the parson's nose here and the neck down here. And with a good sharp knife like this, you just go down either side of the spine. You can hear it crackling a little bit. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. Right up nice and tight to that spine. You can see it going down the side there. Really can move the camera around this way. There we go. And you'll be able to see it go down the spine there because that's what you really want to see. Hold it like that and then all the way down. You can see it comes out evenly. And with the heel of the knife, which is the thick part, the bit that's designed to go through it, a little bit of pressure, and it goes all the way through there like that. There we go, nice little bit there. Pick that up and pop that over there like that. We're not gonna waste a bit of it. Now you can see, if you look into the cavity here, it's, it's all broken down. This is the breastbone here. And with the heel of the knife, a little bit of a crack. That's the sound you don't wanna hear from your chiropractor anyway all the way through there like that and bring it all the way through. We've got breastbone on this side. There we go, last little bit of it. And we've got all these little bits on the inside. Pop this one over here and then I'll show you my little tip. I grab the leg like this and if you push down with your fingers, you can actually see it separating. There we go. And it just tells you where it's gonna cut. It's almost like this chicken has little dotted lines on it telling you exactly where to go. Now on the inside here, you can leave it high. On the inside here, you can leave it whole like this. This is what they call the Maryland. I like to just trim it up a little bit. I remove some of this fat off the inside here like that, pop it over there. And then you can see there's a couple of little small bones here and the hip bones. So if you're just careful with that, you can pop it all the way back there and with the head. You can just pop it all the way back there. You can see with the point of it, I just run my knife along it. I just run my knife along the outside there and remove all those little pieces and we've got that's the uh, little bone there, off it goes. Now at this stage here, you need to cut it in half. And you're looking at it thinking, Richo, where do I cut it? Well, if you turn it over to the inside here, you can see there's a little bit of a join there. And if you put your finger there, you can actually see where the thigh bone and the drumstick bone join. So if you've just hold onto it and just cut it a little bit, look at that. It goes all the way through, no crunching of bones. It's really, really soft. That's all you need to do. That's the thigh bone there and the drumstick. Now, if you want, you can leave it like this. If you want, if you, you can just leave it like that, or you can do something a little bit careful or tricky. I just crunch through the outside there, and that will help to pull down a little bit later on. All these little bits of bone and trim, they go into the stock. Now, if I turn this over, the wing tip I usually take off, straight through there like that. You can use that for the stock. Now, up to, up to you, some people like to leave it on. Now, if you want to, I like to take this piece off here like that, crunch it all the way through, and then pop that onto my tray there like this. Now these bones here, there's just little tiny bones. I like to take them out because they get between your teeth and they make it nice and gritty. And then straight through the middle here like this, just cut through the flesh. And then when you get to the bone at the bottom, just crunch it down like that. And then you get these lovely pieces of breast. You can see they're all similar in size. And then once again, we do the same thing here like this. Remember, we just put our fingers down through there and we can see where it separates, see that there? And with a good knife straight through there like that, then once again, we remove some of this fat and these little tiny bones here like this. If you want to, you can leave the thigh bone on because it actually helps to, sorry, the uh, hip bone, you can leave that on there if you want because it actually helps to hold the shape of it. And remember this bit here, we feel it there. We can just feel the two bones come together and with a knife, we just go all the way through. Just saw through, we're not cutting through any bones. It stays nice and it stays nice and firm. If you want to, you can of course score it on the outside like that, up to you. Onto the tray it goes, turn that over there like that. And you'll find when you keep this hip bone in here, it'll actually hold up and be nice and firm. Onto the thing it goes there like that. Now of course you can leave that bone on there as well. That's the spare rib there. I make sure I get underneath those little tiny bones and remove them out of there. Great for your cat or your dog or whatever you want to uh, feed. And then straight through here like this, I take it off a little bit different. I'll just take that little bit of fat on there. I've got the uh, actual wing tip I've left on there as well. So a little bit of meat around the outside there, that's gonna be a beautiful piece. 
And then of course down here, making sure that's nice and neat. A little bit of fat on there I like to remove. And then to this piece here, you can leave it whole like that. You can take it off the bone, but I like to cut it all the way through there as I did before. And then crunch it down there like that. And there you have it, a chicken broken down to a whole lot of little pieces and some great little pieces of meat here or some bone and some meat ready to make a stock. There you go, Linda. That's how you break down a chicken. Is that all right?